Welcome back to Mother. In the last part, Hello. we decided to leave on an adventure. Now we're going to be traveling through the town of Podunk. But I mean, I guess I should equip the uh, plastic bat for. See? He walks on two legs. Oh, yeah, he does. Look at him. When you find something strange, be sure to check it out every time. He's just kind of being helpful. Um, something strange. And it was, yeah, I was talking about Nintendo. Yeah, I remember reading somewhere that he was a bit of a dreamer, but I do not remember the details of that. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't even remember if I actually read that or not, or that just kind of came to my head on it. So, uh, like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a good character trait, though. Um, by the way, he may look younger, but he is 12. Okay. So he's a bit more independent than, say, a tiny child. Yeah, yeah. Um... See, something else I know is that his favorite uh, baseball team is the San Francisco Giants. Okay. And, um, I mean, there's not a lot of detail on him because since he's the player character, like a lot of Nintendo games, especially Zelda, like, they're trying to, like, yes. they, they want you to, uh, like, identify with him, so they're kind of keeping him on the basic side. Like, the intention is, like, maybe you can see him as yourself or something. Right. That's that's kind of the idea they had going with him. So he's not too full of character, but um, you know he's there. Um, similarly, the main character of Mother Two, Ness, is a cardboard box. But when we get into Mother Three, Lucas is not so much of a cardboard box. Like he's uh, he's like his own character completely. Um. Oh yeah, also, one thing that I forgot to mention in the first part, but I mean, let's be honest, if we get any form of attention um, on this channel, I know I'm going to be pelted with these comments, so, yes, this is a mother marathon, no, I'm not going to be playing Undertale right now, maybe another time, not now. And why are you bringing, up, like, why are you bringing this up now, because of the similarities? Look, look. Honestly, if anybody does something related to Mother these days, you're gonna get pelted with comments that say "Do Undertale," because it's become so popular at this point. I, although the popularity might have died down by the time this goes up. Maybe for, I don't know. I'm still working my way through it. For the for clarification, at the time of this recording, um, the first part of Mega Man One went up, so. Yeah. By the way, one little thing that I kind of noticed, it wasn't intentional, but, um, like, kind of going with the Snoopy comment I made, a lot of the characters just kind of look like Peanuts characters in general, especially when they're walking. Oh, I love the Peanuts. Brings back such good memories when we would watch, like... Anyway, this the is the mayor. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child is strayed into the cemetery, and I'm up for re-election soon. You must help. Please help me. Oh! You will go there and save her. Return her to me alive, and surely I'll be a hero. Uh, uh, I mean, you'll be a hero. Oh my gosh. Yep. As the, like, Podunk is a garden town. It's, like, great for, um, it's great for picnics. It's got a nice, um, zoo nearby, as well as, uh, the Canary Village, which we'll be visiting pretty soon. Unfortunately, it has a, v a very corrupt government is at work, and by at work, I mean no work. They're not doing anything at all. Yeah, but by at work, you mean the exact opposite. This government's been going on for about two years, and honestly, a lot of people are complaining about the mayor. He's up for re-election soon, but he's probably not going to be re-elected. Unless the um, voting system is rigged towards him. It sounds like if there's already that much corruption in there, they wouldn't be quite a stretch to think that. Yeah, the thing that makes this game really stand out, honestly, is, um, j just to be specific, is that it takes place in a modern setting as opposed to, as opposed to a fantasy setting. Mm-hmm. Although, to be specific, it wouldn't be so modern anymore. I mean, he's using a payphone. But keep in mind, this game came out, this game came out in 1989 and is supposed to take place in 1988. Right, and so it's pretty, it's pretty realistic given the time that it was released. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. The uh, environments seem a bit more modest compared to actual 80s environments, but I mean, they're around the same level technologically. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a simple RPG game. Well, simple, I Look guess. Look for yourself. Thing. All the animals have escaped. Only this canary chick is left. Will want to buy it? Well, how about $85? <laughs> if it's free, do you want it? Then take it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Didn't even have to pay for it. I'm assuming you'll need that canary chick? Yep. You'll see why in just a sec. We will be covering yeah, it, it in free. this part. Well, I mean, just because it's free doesn't mean that... Well, I mean, I mean, doesn't mean that it's important. I mean, not important thing, Or, I mean, important things can also cost lots of money in these kinds of games. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, look at... me being free is a good indication. I mean, look at Generation 1 at Pokemon, of Pokemon. Remember when we needed to get into Saffron City and all the guards were thirsty so they wouldn't let us through? Yes. <laughs> we had to buy a drink for them and then they'd let us through. Staying at the hotel is very important. By the way, I forgot to mention one little detail. Battles in this game take up about 80% of the gameplay, it'll feel at times. Especially because grinding is important. Mm. Not to mention, this game uses random encounters, as you've seen, and the random encounter rate is extremely high. So, what, like, see that? So, with the exception of the Sneak. first few fights and whatnot, I will be skipping most of the battles to save some time, but if they go by pretty quickly, I'll probably leave, still leave them in. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, the main reason for this is... Like, the main reason for leaving some of the battles in is just to remind you what, um... How the battle system works, kind of. The enemies are kind of a generic in this game most of the time, so you won't be seeing a lot of them. For the Mother 2 and 3 commentaries, I'll be showing off an enemy once, and then any time that um, you encounter the, we encounter them again, um, unless they're alongside another enemy that we haven't seen before, I'll skip the fight there. Also, all boss fights will still be left in for obvious reasons. Yes. Um, anyway, so this first these first few parts will just be me and Carrie, um, because of... And because of that, I'll be playing Mr. Exposition most of the time. Anyway, this is Canary Village. I don't know why it's full of dead trees, but whatever. Yeah, it looks pretty ominous. Nice and tomb gravestones. I don't think those are gravestones. Really? They look like it to me. I am Laura, is what the canary said. Anyway, the canary chick is her kid, I guess. Huh. Overjoyed Aww. with her reunion, Laura began singing. How sweet. Ninten remembered the tune. Yeah, like I said before, this is very important. Laura remembered her song and began to sing once more. Did you learn the melody? The truth is, there is power in song. That's kind of the message for the whole game, honestly. There is power in song. Okay. Um, I mean, there's also power and love is another concept in this. Um, and I don't just mean romantic love there, I mean love in general. Yes. That's good to hear. Yeah, I think I mistook those uh, little, like, tower things back there for gravestones because we were talking about a cemetery earlier, but now I realize that we're not there at the cemetery yet. Oh, oh, yeah, we need to go to the cemetery to rescue the kid. By the way, this is yeah. the centipede. He's really weak. He looks sassy. Why? Just, he's just got his hands like... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you want from me, you freak? <laughs> That's what he sounds like. I, that, th I'm headcanning this. This is what he sounds like. Perfect. <laughs> I'll go along with it. <laughs> What's the matter? You want to fight? Put it up! Come on! Come on! Oh my goodness, the poor little centipede. He thinks he's so tough. But he's a centipede. We can just stomp on him, honestly. <sighs> Your character moves very spastically. Well, you I see, noticed. the thing is, um... This game has eight directional movement. It's one of the only NES games to have eight directional movement. In addition, I'm holding down the run button, which actually does not make you go faster, it just kind of speeds up literally everything. 
Except for the music. Literally everything, including the... So, yeah, if you're holding down the run button, like, the the uh, townspeople will also move around faster. Okay, no wonder. I noticed that they were getting a pretty pretty uh, spastic, too. <laughs> I thought that was a bit funny. Anyway, yeah, the run button's the reason for that. Next time on Smash Team Games, stuff happens. Spastic running. Yeah, spastic running! Okay, roll the... Roll the recommended videos, but jig. Thank you.